This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the mole concept. Let's start the video by looking at some questions. How many carbon atoms are there in one mole of ethanol? How many hydrogen atoms are there in two moles of methane? How many sodium ions are there in one mole of sodium chloride? And what is the total number of ions in 0.5 moles of ammonium carbonate? To answer these questions, we need to understand the mole concept. At the end of the video, we'll come back to these questions to see the answers. The mole is the SI unit for amount of substance. One mole contains exactly 6.02214076 times 10 to the 23 elementary entities. This number, which is known as the Avogadro number, is usually rounded to three significant figures which we can see here. The Avogadro constant, which is given the symbol L or Na, is numerically equivalent to the Avogadro number. The difference between the two is that the Avogadro number is dimensionless, in that it has no units. The unit of the Avogadro constant is the reciprocal of the amount of substance. So next, we'll have a look at some examples of elementary entities. In this table, we have examples of elementary entities. An elementary entity can be an atom, a molecule, an ion, or a formula unit. In the second column, we have the number of elementary entities in one mole. So one mole of atoms contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. One mole of molecules contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. One mole of ions contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 ions and one mole of formula units contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 formula units. So from this table, we can see that one mole of substance always contains the same number of particles, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So next, we look at some examples. In our first example, we'll determine the number of chlorine molecules and chlorine atoms in one mole of chlorine gas. Chlorine is a diatomic molecule with the formula Cl2. One molecule of chlorine gas consists of two chlorine atoms bonded together by a single covalent bond. So in one mole of chlorine gas, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of chlorine. In terms of chlorine atoms, we have two times the Avogadro constant. This is because one molecule of chlorine consists of two chlorine atoms. So in one mole of chlorine gas, we have 1.20 times 10 to the 24 chlorine atoms. In our next example, we'll determine the number of hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms in 0.5 moles of water. One water molecule consists of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. And in 0.5 moles of water, we have 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 number of water molecules. So for the number of hydrogen atoms, we multiply 2 times 0.5 times the Avogadro constant, which gives a total of 6.02 times 10 to the 23 hydrogen atoms. For the number of oxygen atoms, we multiply 0.5 by the Avogadro constant, which gives us 3.01 times 10 to the 23 oxygen atoms. In the next example, we'll determine the number of carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen atoms in 0.25 moles of ethanol. One molecule of ethanol consists of two carbon atoms, one oxygen atom, and six hydrogen atoms. In 0.25 moles of ethanol, we have 0.25 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 number of ethanol molecules. So for the number of carbon atoms, we multiply 2 by 0.25 by the Avogadro constant, which gives us 3.01 times 10 to the 23 carbon atoms. For the number of hydrogen atoms, we multiply 6 by 0.25 by the Avogadro constant, which gives us 9.03 times 10 to the 23 hydrogen atoms. And for the number of oxygen atoms, we multiply 0.25 by the Avogadro constant, which gives us 1.51 times 10 to the 23 oxygen atoms. 
In the next example, we will determine the number of magnesium ions and chloride ions in one mole of magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride is an ionic compound, which is made up of magnesium ions and chloride ions. In one mole of magnesium chloride, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 formula units. The formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. This tells us the ratio of magnesium ions to chloride ions is 1 to 2. So for the number of magnesium ions, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And for the number of chloride ions, we have 2 times the Avogadro constant, which gives us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 chloride ions. So we'll end the video by going back to the questions we looked at at the start of the video. The first question was, how many carbon atoms are there in one mole of ethanol? And the answer is 1.20 times 10 to the 24 carbon atoms. In one molecule of ethanol, there are two carbon atoms. So to find the number of carbon atoms in one mole, we multiply two by the Avogadro constant. The next question was, how many hydrogen atoms are there in two moles of methane? And the answer is 4.82 times 10 to the 24 hydrogen atoms. One molecule of methane has four hydrogen atoms. So the calculation is 2 multiplied by 4 and then multiplied by the Avogadro constant. The third question is how many sodium ions are there in one mole of sodium chloride? And the answer is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 sodium ions. In one formula unit of sodium chloride, the ratio of sodium to chloride ions is 1 to 1. So in one mole of sodium chloride, we have one mole of sodium ions and one mole of chloride ions. And the last question is what is the total number of ions in 0.5 moles of ammonium carbonate? And the answer is 9.03 times 10 to the 23 ions. In one formula unit of ammonium carbonate, we have one carbonate ion and two ammonium ions. So we multiply 0.5 by 3 and then by the Avogadro constant. So that's all from this video. In the second part, I'll be looking at more examples involving the mole concept.